And just in passing, can I congratulate Wendy Alexander on her success in dominating the news agenda of Scotland? The dig started last Thursday. Politically, Wendy Alexander is seriously, possibly mortally wounded. Well, we did, of course, invite Wendy Alexander onto the programme tonight, but the offer was declined. However, I'm joined by Jackie Bailey, Labour's business manager and a member of Wendy Alexander's leadership campaign team. Well, given that Wendy Alexander has broken the law, why hasn't she resigned? Because I think at the end of the day, Glenn, you know, Wendy has not done anything wrong on on an intentional basis. You know? That isn't a defence, is it? But, but let me just say to you that she's intentionally done nothing wrong, um, that she has not set out to deliberately mislead. You know, she has been very, very clear on the whole matter that she will stay, she will fight the allegations because we don't believe that actually she has anything to hide. But ignorance is no excuse, is it? No, indeed. But I have to say that the media have um, perhaps the partial facts, um, and I don't blame them for that. Um, the full facts will, of course, be shared with the Electoral Commission. We have said quite clearly we will cooperate fully with them, and we intend to do so. Well, let's talk about uh, facts. First of all, when did Wendy Alexander first know that she'd accepted a, an illegal donation? I think, as my colleague has previously said to you, um, you know, it was on the day that Charlie Gordon actually tended his resignation. One o'clock on Thursday you, of but, last but week. Can I, can I say to you, Glenn, and you know, you will appreciate my frustration as much as as yours. Um, but we have, over the course of the weekend, um, taken legal advice. Um, that legal advice, which is quite normal, um, would be to share the full facts, all the facts and details, with the Electoral Commission. And for that reason, it wouldn't be appropriate for me to talk about those facts now. But, but where's this but legal advice coming you, from? Glenn, but can where's I this, Where's this advice but, but, coming from? Well, indeed, you know, we have taken legal advice over the course of the weekend. Who that's from um, is really not a matter for, of From of the public Electoral interest. Commission or from a, no, 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 a, a no, no, lawyer no, that no, you've brought no, on board? No. The, the legal advice comes from lawyers, but I have to say to you, the Electoral Commission is an independent body. It's entirely sure, appropriate. it's not a court of law. It's entirely appropriate that they should scrutinise things. And we are very happy to share the full details with them. But you're I not happy to share them with I the think, public. I think it's appropriate, don't you, that an independent body set up to do just this job is actually allowed to do that job. Now, I wouldn't be sitting here, Glenn, if I didn't think and believe that Wendy Alexander would be exonerated. You know, there is no intention here um, to mislead. She certainly is not, you know, doing anything wrong intentionally. Sure, um, you've said that many times, but the bottom line is that Wendy Alexander has broken the law. Now, if you're saying she didn't know that she'd done that until one o'clock uh, last Thursday, then how on earth was she able to write to Paul Green at his home on Jersey uh, to thank him personally for his donation. I think you'll find that politicians do write a number of standard letters. But you know, let, let but, me but just say to you, Glenn, let me just say to letter you, of thanks on, on, to somebody who was not entitled me, to send her a personal let donation. Me just say to you, How Glenn, was she able to do that? Glenn, let me just say to you, I've known Wendy Alexander for 20 years. You yourself have known her for a considerable period. You know, many people may criticise her. Many people would disagree with her, frankly. But nobody, nobody that I know I'm just asking. would actually no, I'm say, just asking. Glenn, what I'm Glenn, asking, Glenn, though, nobody what that I'm I know, Glenn, is, can I finish my sentence, well, please? Well, what I'm asking Glenn, you... If you're going to invite somebody on the programme, at least let them finish well, the I'm, sentence. I'd like you to but, answer but the question I'm that happily, I'm asking you. I will you. always happily answer questions for okay, you, Okay, well, let's start with but this can one. can I say to you... No, let's no, start no, with this question. How was Wendy Alexander able to thank, personally, Paul Green for a donation that she says... If you want to invite people onto the programme, then at least let them finish their sentences. Um, what I was saying to you is that, you know, for those people who know Wendy, know that she is not a dishonest person. So therefore... And what she's being accused of is dishonesty. But what Yet, she's been accused you know, of is nobody breaking I the know, law. Nobody I know actually believes that to be true in the case of Wendy Alexander. Now, I have to say to you, you know, there's been a lot of talk about should Wendy go, should Wendy not go? The easy thing here to do would be for her to resign and walk away from everything, okay? What about Alison Graham's look at, suggestion? If you look at, well, hold on a second. If you look at the pain she has experienced personally, her family's experienced, the party's experienced, she's reflected that 
on that over the weekend. Frankly, it would be easier for her to go on a personal level. She's taken the hard decision to stay. And I think that shows a strength of character and determination. And I think and believe that at the end of this process, Wendy Alexander will be exonerated of okay. any intentional wrongdoing. Why doesn't she take Alistair Graham's advice, stand aside while she goes through the process of trying to clear her name? Well, I think Alistair Graham, with all due respect to him, and I have a great deal of respect for the man, um, is not aware of the full facts here. Nobody is. We need to make sure... Nobody knows the facts because you won't no, 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 tell no, us. But, but I don't think it's appropriate that they are out in the public domain. I genuinely don't. The Electoral Commission is set there for a purpose. We are cooperating fully with it, as you would expect us to do. You know, and I hope that they investigate every aspect of this, review all the information, and so come to a So you want her to have a public role when the facts of this case aren't in the public domain? I think you'll find that Wendy Alexander, as the leader of the Labour Party in Scotland, is somebody who is energetic, who's motivated, you know, who has a huge intellect and a huge amount to offer to this country. And she's broken the law. You know, at the end of the day, no, she has done nothing intentionally wrong. Yeah, but um, she's still she broken the law. She's already she's admitted not, that. She's not deliberately misled anybody. And can I say, you know, at the end of the day, we are talking about a £950 donation that has been returned, set against... I thought it had been given think, to the Electoral I Commission. I think you need to weigh this against... The good that she as an individual, as a leader of the Labour Party in Scotland, can do to improve the lives of the people of Scotland. Okay. Because that's what this is about for well, me. Well, when did you first know about this donation? If you can't answer for her, you can answer for yourself. Well, indeed. But, you know, I didn't know about this donation. Um, it was sourced by another member of the campaign team. And, you know, it's up to the individual members of the campaign team to source those donations. But, but when did you first realise that Paul Green it, had donated to Wendy Alexander's leadership campaign? Because I wasn't directly involved in that, but when did you um, first realise? When, when, at the stage, I think, when the rest of the, the group was told. Um, when which was would that? Have been, which would have been on the Thursday, I think, when Charlie Gordon resigned. So you didn't know that okay. Paul Green had donated any money to the campaign until last Thursday? No, I didn't know that, that an inappropriate donation had been made yeah, until last Thursday. Yeah, but I asked you when you found out that Paul Green had made a donation. I wasn't sourcing his donation. Yeah, but when so, did you find so out that he had made the in donation? Fairness, in fairness, Glenn, I'm unable to answer your question, however you put it, because I wasn't aware of the detail of that. Well, did I you get the document that was in the weekend press? I wasn't responsible press? for did you, that Did you donation? get the document that was in Frankly, the weekend I don't, press? I don't comment on on you know, documents that are released to the press by undisclosed sources. So where did this come from? Because not many people yeah. would have had that kind of information. Um, one would hope that the Sunday Herald would, would tell us, but you know, I have to say that undisclosed documents, whether they are leaked to the press or obtained illegally, um, are you know, very difficult for people to comment on, and I don't think it's appropriate for me to do so. Okay, Jackie Bailey, thanks very much indeed for coming in. Thank you.